As you can probably tell from what's going on on screen right now, we have not been to the New England Mountains map since the release the other day while we've been grinding for moose over on Medved. So today, the plan is going to be to head out, start to explore the map once again, see if we can find anything cool, and begin the process of unlocking the map. And so, as we begin this process, it's always super exciting when a new map comes out because there's that untapped potential around literally every corner. And, well, I mean, when we're not shooting the wrong bird, there's the potential to get diamond turkeys if a max would estimate level 2 would get there. I actually don't know which one we ended up shooting first, but we got the gobbler regardless. That one is the hen, so good thing we only shot 3, kind of causing some extra hunting pressure. 4.38 for that guy, I think that was the heavier one. And the first one was a 4.35, they were almost the exact same size. But... As I mentioned, literally over every hill, around every corner, when an entire map population is new, everything is just that much more intriguing. And by the way, I should mention, when discovering the New England Mountains map in early access, because we only had like three days and I was hunting in real life and stuff, I did most of that with the four-wheeler. So a lot of this is going to be my first experience seeing some of those spots, other than maybe, you know, buzzing through on the quad. I guess we're gonna track this. For those of you that caught the live stream on the first day of early access, you'll recall that we tracked a max weight bobcat for something like 20-25 minutes, eventually ended up spotting it and found that it was a level 9, and then followed it for quite a bit longer, only for it ultimately to troll. I mentioned on that stream, I do consider bobcat like a separate species from Mexican bobcat. Their models are exactly the same, the rares are the same fur types, scores are the same to make diamond, all of that. But because they're named differently, I still treat it as a diamond that we have yet to find. And anytime we get a max weight track, especially a fresh one as we can see the run tracks here, we'll have to follow it and try to get that. Looks to be even the same fur type, but this one is a mythical, which frankly I am okay with, because it's not in the best of areas, and probably we're gonna have to take a marginal shot. Now, if it would just pick a direction, and not do whatever that was, that would be fantastic. I just want to get a shot in there with the 243. If we can get a vital, that's fantastic. If not, no big deal. Maybe right in there? That'll do. Ultimately, what we ended up doing on the level 9 was taking a moving shot like that, too. So, good to know we can make them. Bobcats are a little bit weird. I find that it's easier to take that shot on things like foxes and coyotes. They're just... Bobcats, I think their shoulders are a little bit lower than like their high dead, and it just makes it weird to line up, at least for me. But in that case, got them down and it only took maybe a minute. 27.05 is still a good size one. Within 0.6-ish of being diamond, double long at 90 meters on the trot, and our first kind of decent kill out here, I'd say. This particular type of encounter, I think is something to get used to on the New England Mountains map as well. There are just so many places where you can't see that well and you'll get animals, you know, warning calling and stuff and just not be able to even spot them. And then finally, getting in super close, we have something like this level 3 bull moose. Now, for our moose weapon today, we've actually got the 7 mil, so I don't think it's exactly ideal. And realistically, this guy down here is a little bit bigger, so we'll take him. We actually got the hard shot, despite the inability to see and you know nice little bonus as we come down here you'll be unsurprised to know that we're heading to the area that we shot the piebald white-tailed doe and diamond buck at the same lake i want to say it was this one if not it was the one just beside it and kind of like what we did in the last video we had that piebald cow moose in the same general vicinity this time we get ourselves a little bull on the way and at first glance there is a Pretty nice buck down there, however, I don't see any sign of a diamond next to a piebald. We do have the ducks here too, actually green winged teal. That's another staple of this lake almost every time. You'll have a flock of ducks there too. It's not always the same species. I've had mallards here, I've had the teal, I think even goldeneye. But I don't see any level 3s or anything like that, so let's go ahead and take the buck. I didn't really get to talk about the 7 mil. this is the empress. It actually works a lot better, by the way, if you have a bullet loaded in it. But I tried to customize it a bit. I'm not exactly sure the reason, but there's a couple of weapons like this. They change what they look like just a little bit with this update. And maybe that was to 
make them look better with customization. Maybe it was to just align better with the textures they had available or something like that. But it's a little bit darker in color than I added the lightish color, that gray paint, to the bottom. I don't know if I like it, but I wanted to do something customizing and that was kind of the best I could come up with. So luckily, he's floating along to where we can actually get him. A 236 score is not a bad buck. Double lung at 200 meters with the 7 mil. One thing that maybe would be nice, just because we can customize our weapons now, and it's been pointed out in the comments, like, you, you can't see your own weapon that well. I mean, maybe a little bit when reloading and stuff. It could be cool, because they show it in the inventory anyway, if it sort of showed up on the harvest screen. It'd be fun to have those screenshots of your kills and have your customized weapon in there. Just unless trophy shots or something like that were to be added, at least it would be a way to get to appreciate it more. Bit of a rare opportunity to do something like that, but I've been waiting for a chance to use the 12 gauge shotgun. You can see I've got the New England Premium uh, pattern on it. I wanted to use it for some gun. And it was the one that I thought looked the best with it, considering the loadout that we're carrying. And, you know, we were able to get the Diamond Greenwing Teal in early access. That is a pie bolt. What the heck are the odds that we would do that? Okay. I almost just didn't even tax that. What's so insane is, on Revan Thule, with all the waterfowl that we've shot, not one rare. I can't believe that just happened. It is a silver, way shy of gold. That is pretty cool. Didn't even know those existed, but first rare we get to keep off of the New England Mountains map, and it was with the gun that matches the reserve. Maybe we're on to something now. Now we have a Maxward Estimate Eastern Cottontail track, and the question's gonna be, can we actually find it? Now, I don't think I did any time resetting, and the reason that's important is when you do change the time to start a hunt, that seems to impact things like rabbits more than maybe other species. And what happens is, when you do that time reset, the animals seem to warp to whatever location they're supposed to be in for the time that you just set it to, and that can mess with tracks and make them really hard to follow. But because we just got started here, and actually, this zone time is correct, we gotta be able to find it. The tracks are just now, and we'll keep the shotgun in hand once again. They can cross the water, so there's a chance that it's on the other side, but I wouldn't be shocked if it's sitting somewhere right here in front of us. Just need to try to keep an eye out. I see that track, and as far as I know, that hasn't been changed with the rabbits. They'll flee and then just kind of sit still. I think that still happens, so as long as we can follow the tracks, we should get a chance. I do want to see. Fur type is gray, which I think is the same as the diamond we got from Mississippi. But should just be a matter of time. Probably going to be similar to the green wing teal. Just got to wait for it to suddenly give that shot. Fortunately, oh my god, it's a level three. You have to be kidding me. It's sitting right there in the open. What is going on? Make that two trophies from New England with our special New England camo shotgun. Are you kidding me? We haven't seen a level three Eastern Cottontail since early access from Mississippi, which is over a year ago. And fortunately with Mississippi, we are able to keep our progress. So we have a diamond Eastern Cottontail in our lodge, but maybe making it two? We are making it two, I think with a bigger one. 2.02, we'll have to check. Tractor for 865 meters, and for once, tracking a max weight rabbit was worth it. And I guess our mountain hare over on Reventuli was sort of like that, but we literally got one track and then it spooked. That is pretty cool, and literally, like, in the same spot. We got the piebald green wing teal, and then the track of this was probably less than 500 meters from there. Suddenly, things are heating up here on the New England mountains. It took nearly an hour for really anything to happen out here. I mean, we had the whitetail and the mythical bobcat, and it was just kind of few and far between running into anything decent. And suddenly, we had our piebald teal, the diamond rabbit, and this opportunity to kind of run down the river getting to this lookout. And now we have a pretty solid moose up to 289. 
I believe that's at like 240s, 250s rack, but we can attempt at least about a 300 meter heart shot with the 7 mil. Kind of see how it does. That was into the heart. And by the way, you may be wondering why you don't see me using the new inline muzzleloader much. We did use it on the early access stream, the first hunt that we had on this map. And it just, it did not do well on Moose at all. And I can't tell if it's a Moose issue or an issue with the gun itself. Anytime that we attempted that particular shot, a frontal heart shot attempt on a Moose, we just didn't hit it. And it wasn't as if, you know, our crosshairs were off. It just didn't impact. And we're going to have to take it to the Hirschfelden range one of these days and, and take a look and see if there's something there. But that's why I haven't messed with it. It just, for whatever reason, it doesn't really do what we need to do in taking out the moose. And that's a huge part of hunting this map, is being able to shoot one of the biggest species. As for today, though, doing just fine without it, we have the 7 mil making hard shots on moose. I think this is our second one. A 239.99 score. I can't say I've seen this rack be 230s. Must be a particularly low scoring variant, but right lung and heart at 294. And we'll just continue working our way down through here. We have almost another kilometer before we break off and go to that lookout. Not too much more going on as far as moose down there, but I feel like this could be a really good spot. I don't have tents with me, unfortunately, so maybe one day we'll have to come back up here and place one. But if you had the right time, I mean, something must feed in these fields, whether it's deer or moose or, or maybe even like foxes and bears. I'd like to think this is a place you could actually get some long shots from, but anyway, there is an outpost actually down in those fields. We'll probably go and get that and see if we can maybe manage one more kill along the way. And I think we're gonna head back to the lodge. I can't wait to see the piebald teal. I, I don't know that I've seen that anywhere yet. And there is our opportunity as we're coming up on the outpost, a level six female gray fox. That is a thing too that I'm maybe hoping we can achieve on this map because it definitely does seem as though this is a better fox map for both gray fox and red fox than any of the others and maybe this is where we could find a female diamond gray fox i think that's such a cool concept that that's actually possible they're still i believe the only species like that when it comes to weight you've got the gemsbuck over on varhunga that's very different horns entirely that can make diamond and i think that's neat too that you can have both a male and a female but we've never had a level 9 female at all and there's always the chance they troll too, but who knows, maybe, you know, in open areas like this where you get those free opportunities to take one, maybe shooting one here and there ends up with a, a cool respawn. That said, we are now reaching the outpost, and I think we've done a decent job today of unlocking a good chunk of the map. We got the center pretty well done, missed this outpost down here, and then getting down into the southeast corner for the latter half. Right about two hours of actually hunting out here, considering the fact that we were actually hunting and not just focusing on unlocking stuff. I think we did a decent job, but for the first time from the New England Mountains map, we actually get to head back and place a trophy that we will keep in our lodge this time. And actually, I thought we had a gray fur type Eastern Cottontail. The one from Mississippi was light brown, and our new one is bigger. I want to leave this one here. I really like the gray fur type, and I just thought we had one all this time, so that's pretty cool. We'll find a spot somewhere, maybe where we have an extra... I don't know if we still have a bunch of melanistic... European rabbits up, but if we do, I think we could replace one of them. We do still have at least the one, and all these were shot when they were way over spawning. They were far too common. So we can go ahead and place this guy here. 2.03 for our new Diamond Eastern Cottontail, and I'd almost consider swapping them. Maybe putting this one out, like in the main area, and, and bringing the light brown fur type back here. We'll see what we end up doing, but that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we'll go to the second lodge for our piebald green wing teal from today. It's nice that even some of these flags are starting to get filled, but I... I mean, we, there was no way we ever could have seen that it was a rare. That looks really, really cool. I want to try a couple of other poses. Can you tell from any other angle? I mean, I guess if you really look closely, they have like a... a line that goes down right in front of the wing that's not there with this piebald. But if you didn't know that, you wouldn't be able to see it. I think you could look at this and tell that something is a little bit different than your average common green wing teal. So, pretty cool. Of the trophies that we've shot on the New England Mountains, both in early access and now here in the live game, two of them have been the green wing teal. We had the diamond in early access, now a piebald. And 
another Diamond Eastern Cottontail, that I'm really happy with. Because again, I mentioned the only one we ever had was Early Access. It was such like a suddenly is right there and we take the shot kind of deal. A little more fun to get the track, follow it, and then have that sudden realization of the level 3. But didn't mean to come through here and see this, but cool chance to see the piebald variant of the Red Fox here. I thought they were actually a little fluffier. There may be two piebalds. That will remain to be seen. But anyway, we'll worry about stuff like that going forward. There are Red Fox on the New England Mountains, and maybe we'll find ourselves a new piebald one day. Perhaps finally a gold rare Red Fox. We've only ever done that on one female long before trophy lodges were a thing, and of all the things that can happen on New England, that would be towards the top of the list of ones that I'd like to have happen. And as we unlock the map, maybe that opportunity will present itself. But anyway, that is officially going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.